Rob Rowan and Gene Creighton, Senior Vice President of Paralyzed Veterans of America. We're back for the second half of this power soccer game. Are we ready for some rock and roll out here, huh? Yeah, we're going to determine the winner here. Yeah, this is a big game and nobody seems to want to take advantage of it and score that winning goal, but let's see what happens. I think we feel tight enough now. I think so too. Uh, and I have to mention that this, the 28th National Veterans Wheelchair Games are co-sponsored by the Paralyzed Veterans of America, which you are, Senior Vice President, and the Department of Veteran Affairs. And again, as I've always said, a great partnership there, putting this together, and you can't get better than having these games come on, and Omaha has been the better for it. Yeah, I think it's a great thing, and uh, Omaha is welcome to welcome It's really good. It's And, uh, Action has started here, and we're, uh, we're waiting to see something. A little bit of collision here, and uh, we've seen a lot of that in this game. <laughs> Andy's had all the same amount a lot, as you noticed. Uh, also, we want to thank Neural Stem Incorporated. Uh, they are the sponsor of this particular game on Xable, and uh, we have to say thank you to them for, for their support. And there goes. Uh, they brought Dan, the man, Costin back in, a Navy veteran uh, who plays out there in the, uh, I think he's on the Arizona team. Ooh, that was an opportunity there. All right, Dan McDermott. Oh, there's Mark Peterson. It's, it seems to see knows that Mark seems to know where the ball is going to be and he's always moving. And that's the expertise you see from somebody. He's played the sport. Oh, out in front. Oh, ho! You see what uh, what happens here is, you know, and I'm, I have to say this. I mean, I, is that usually if you play together, and these guys haven't yet a chance to play together. So if you haven't seen power soccer, definitely go to, to the uh, X Ables and watch some Division One games. When you start to see that these guys are playing together, they know what they're doing, and there's a guy down on the wing. So as Mark came in and hit that ball across, he had someone trailing way on the right, spread out the uh, offense, spread it out the defense, and was ready for that pass. And they're not there yet. And that's uh, and we'll see when we get to the uh, championship game how much more they have. I think by the time, you know, the longer they play together, the better they're going to get. You have to keep in mind that some of these people they never see each other until the annual wheelchair games. So they don't get a chance to play together. They don't get to practice every day like you, you would if you were a, a local team. But we're hoping, yeah, we're hoping that this, just this opportunity here gives them that, that excitement that uh, makes them want to play the sport more. So next year, and next year, next year, you get better and better out there with some more and more skilled players. Yeah, a sad note to that is, you know, a lot of the people come to the games and they look forward to seeing friends that they haven't seen since last year. And also, they remember that they lost to someone last year and they come back this the next year and they want to get even. <laughs> and they may end up finding them on their team. <laughs> what can you do about that then, right? Yeah, there was a close opportunity there. Come on, three, wake up! Okay, here comes. Mark, Mark puts it out there and look at that. Shot on goal! Nice defense there by Aletha Richard. Aletha with a beautiful movement there. She just caught that one. Dan with a corner kick, puts it up in front. Mark takes it out of the way. And oh, there goes Gary McDermott. Now Gary can kick this ball several times. He's coming in, he's got a man trailing. Oh, and that ball is gonna go. It was a great opportunity there. I'm not sure he had though. It was good pressure there, but uh yeah. a nice kick. That was a nice kick. And look at Gary. Here comes Mark Peterson. Mark Peterson just wide right. Oh, it hits the post. It goes out. That was so close. Oh boy. <laughs> that was an opportunity there. You can't get a lot closer to that. You see Mark, he's just like a vulture there waiting to try to do that. 
Oh, there's Mark again, putting the pressure on. Now he needs to be moving on that one. You see, he he has to he has to be looking for that and anticipating where the ball is going to go to Sundry and start moving and and uh, and that's but that's the thing that they're going to learn. They're going to watch and learn. They're going to come back next year and they're going to be playing. They're going to be a little bit more professional at it and so forth until. Oh, that's. It's floating out there. Yeah, Vincent, who's uh, been a good goalie there, uh, he's now out of here playing uh, in the uh, forward position or center position. It's a little bit tougher. Okay, here goes Dan again. Puts it up there. Gives Mark again. Oh, what? Uh oh, what do we call here? All right, two and one. What's up? Hey. That's one of the rules that they've kind of changed in the game where they make a two-on-one situation. And uh, it kind of is meant to spread it out. It used to be used to be just like, you ever see a club rugby scrum? That's what it used to be like. And the game was not exciting at all. And now when you watch this game and you watch the, the, the top of it, you, you're amazed at passes. Someone will lead someone across the court because they have to spread it out. Defense has to spread out and they'll lead someone and opens it up and changed the game quite a bit. Which our U.S. team, by the way, won the gold in Japan. Ah, fantastic! And the founder of X Able, Alio Navarro, was on that team and was had a part in that win. So I have a lot to say about that. Uh, we have some of that video on our site. Look, there's a chance here. A shot. Oh, another opportunity there. Dan, the man, with a shot just wide left. I think Aletha had covered the goal just enough there that it didn't have a chance there. Okay. Come on. We need to get that ball out of there. It's floating out in front and it's a dangerous place to be. There it goes. Opportunity. It's a goal there. By Gary. Number three there scored. On the black team, and that is Jerry Clem. Wow. That is the first goal of the game, and the way they're playing, that may be the only goal of the game. See, that's why you don't want the ball floating around front, do you? Come on, Seems like a goal. Okay. Oh, they can't do that. Okay. Come on, Green, wake up! They cannot rush too far ahead. Let's see what kind of hit he puts. That's a nice hit there, and look, a nice hit back. Yeah. It's Jerry again, putting some pressure on there. I'll tell you what, Jerry Clem, considering that this is his, uh, he usually plays in gold, he's a third year player for the Courage Blizzard out of Minneapolis. So Jerry's, uh, he's been out there on the court. You can tell he has some expertise out there. The Blizzard was a Division II team, and he, he wasn't there at Nationals because it was either to go to Nationals for Paris soccer or come here. And he decided this is the trip he had to make. Oh, look at that. A lot of bodies in one place. Andy Green doing his best, or I better call him a... Uh, Rick Swaby or whatever name he's using lately. Nice kick there, nice kick out in front. Come on, Gary. Gary was playing some defense. Come on, Gary. And that ball is is going to uh, Green there. You see somebody playing this game using a different types of chairs to, you know some of them use their hands some use their mouth their chin to move their chair and that's the most incredible stuff you see is how people can uh, operate it and so go 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 incredible. look at that ball sliding through there it's going through hits the post again whoa what an opportunity for the black team to go ahead with a two nothing uh number three all right we're gonna have some substitutions i think Gene, that was an ex exciting moment there, huh? Yeah, it was. So, Gene, you were a Navy corpsman. 
Yes. That's it. That's, that's a pretty honorable one. You, oh, there's another shot. I tell you, Jerry with some tough pressure on go, Mark go, Peterson. Go, He's corralling that ball, go. but it's going to go out of bounds and it's going to be green ball. So you were uh, ended up in the Quezon and uh, in Vietnam, served yes. some time as with the Marines, I take it? And wake up. Tet Offensive. The Tet Offensive. That was a little surprise, wasn't it? That was a little bit of a surprise, yes. Starting in one in the Tet. Uh, number yeah. one, the same number as, uh, one, and number 11. Yeah, New Year. Nobody thought the, the world was going to turn upside down in Vietnam, and boy, that's... I got there and Go, 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 come on! And it was all fine. Let me out! All right, the ball out there in front for, for you. And then, uh, then I'll chat. Now, I don't know what I think it was about 1.32 o'clock in the morning. They start to run around you know. All over the, uh, in Vietnam, they were. Here we go, Kurt! Take it out! Can you see what's Take happening here? Damn, putting pressure on there. Go, 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 go! All right. Go with them, go with them, go with them! Three team trying come to get on, some on, right there, right there, offense there. I'll tell you what, Albert Cortez go, go, there go, 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 go. in the chair with the uh, using his mouth uh, yeah, has been playing know. pretty good there in defense. That's number zero zero, but on the back of his chair it says go, nine, something like five ninety six or something ninety six. Sup? You know what they say when you talk about the Ted Offensive? It's always that calm before the storm, right? Yes. Like before a hurricane, sometimes you know. Okay, at least it's coming out. Good stuff. Out of goalie, and they're going to give the goalie to number three there on the green team, which is Edward, Edward Horvath is going to go and goal. And we're going to have uh, Nathaniel Jackson back in. Some good defense there for Aletha. Aletha, we got that. Good stuff. Did I say Aletha right? I thought you did. I'll tell you what, she could hear me over there saying it wrong, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I love that spirit. Okay. Oh, that was a missed opportunity there. Okay. The way she said it, I was glad that was you and not me. <laughs> she, take you to I task. I'd get her vote. <laughs> I won't say that you're the. No. <laughs> All right. Let's see what Dan can do here. He's got some mind. Come on, come on, Gary. Move up. There's a chance here. Go, 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 Jerry go, 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 trying to get it. Go, 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 oh, Gary. Gary and Dan in a battle. Dan and Man loses the. Here comes Mark. They got to be careful. They don't get a two on one here. And it's not going out yet. It's still floating there. Gary trying to get it free there. And who's it off of? Okay, Black gets the team, gets the ball. Wow. Now I'm not sure the time. I think it's about about seven minutes left in this game, and uh, it's a one nothing lead. Black team is up. Green has needs to score to tie this up to keep this game going. But anything can happen. We saw the uh, tie game go down to the end of the last game that we covered, and it was a score within the last minute. The goalie got out of the way and let that ball go in. Looks like we have another substitution here. Let's see what Albert Cortez, uh, make sure Albert came out and. Uh, there you go, 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 go. Here we go. Go, 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 go. Pretty strong hit there. Stay with him, stay with him. Come on, mate. Come on, mate, mate, mate. Yeah, yeah. Some, some pressure, Gary with some pressure. Courage Blizzards. Stay out there. Stay out there. Oh, some... Stay out. All right. This looks like an opportunity here. Yeah. It's... Yeah. Go, 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 go. I'll tell you what. Go, go, go. Oh. Go, 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 go. An opportunity. Oh, the green team just could not corral that ball. Just opportunity there. Well, we got James Ramsey back in, and he's doing pretty good for a first-year player. He's uh, 
He's really giving it a try out there. I'd love to see him. I think James is from Buffalo. Let's see what Dan the man can do here. Dan Costume with the ball in. And look at Mark Peterson with a chance. A shot. And he scores. Mark Peterson intercepted that one from Dan. And he took that ball right into the goal. There we go. We have a tie game here. Black and green are now tied. And there's probably about six minutes left in this game. I'll tell you what. That changed real quick, didn't it? Whoa! These guys are out here really put it out. Yeah. That's what you're waiting for. There's nothing they could have done. I'll tell you, it was a, such a quick shot. and Looks like they have a little bit of a problem over here with the goalie. I'm not sure what it is. They have a timeout. Uh, make sure he's, uh, he's okay here. They may have a substitution. We'll see what happens here. If it, it is, there's a substitution. They're going to put... Uh, I think they're going to put... Is that Albert Cortez that's back in? Sometimes I think he might have gotten hurt there. Yeah. Just hope he's not hurt. No. It doesn't appear to be. No, no. Alba Cortez back in. Okay. Alba Cortez again. Uh, we've seen he's been playing pretty good out there. I'll tell you what, if you if you have a tie, we're gonna play two fives. Okay, thanks. And if it goes into a tie game, they're gonna have two five minute uh, uh, periods going. So that's what uh, Chris Mohawk came by to tell us. Yeah. Yeah, it might be. We'll see what happens there. Ball's back in play there. And uh, Nathaniel Jackson and Mark Peterson up there in the front there. Let's see what they can do. I know that neither of these teams wants to go into a tie. They wanted to end it here. They want to get that bronze medal, don't they? Yes. Okay, here's it again. James put it back out there. It's floating out in front. They don't want it out there. Dan Costin, like a shark, he's circling. Let it go. Stay with it. Stay with it. Trying to find a hole there. The goal is way out of there. Notice how uh, Mark went back in goal to cover for him. That's an important thing that they do there. Mark Peterson trying to find his way out. And there's Dan. Look at Nathaniel. Look at Nathaniel. He's got it. Nathaniel's going for it. Change the momentum of that. Nice playing for a novice there. Oh, that's good defense. They stopped it, but I'll tell you what. I think Nathaniel's game has really come up since he started playing here, and it's great to see that. I, I have a feeling he, if he keeps up this game, finds a team in his local area, he's going to come back here, and he's going to be one of the people make, making it happen. Come on. Stay out. Stay out. Stay out. Stay out the uh, box. That city probably getting to the gym or the rush. I do. There's about two Watch minutes left in this uh, next, next. second half. Watch it. Watch it. Right there. Here we go. Here we in the go. game, and that's Come about on, ball out in front again. Mark Come putting it, some pressure on there. Away, He's got to clear it out of there. Come on, Mark. Mark trying to do it, and he lost the control. That's good. Come on, Green. Wake up. Okay. Go, Black with the uh, ball. Stay out there. Stay white. Go, Mark. Go, Mark. Stay white. Keeps going to black. Stay white. White, white, white. So you must be uh, just proud as punch to see these games come off so well. Yes. One of the Here things we go. Really, on, one of the things we're really happy about is this year we have 100 novices. Wow. Out of 500 plus people, uh, a, a the fifth. Last count I heard was five seven. Out of almost a little less than a, a fifth of it. Oh, the ball's out front. There's an opportunity a shot. Oh! He just couldn't get enough of him on the ball to really do it. It's out to the ball. It's out in front. And that's a goal. That is a goal for the black team. James Renzi scores the goal. Wow, that was great. I'll tell you what. Woo. Oh, they're not going to give him the goal? 
Yeah. Okay, it's two to one. Black. Yeah, Nathaniel not knowing where he had to be there, he's pulling him back because you can't get ahead of your ball. That would be an unfair advantage. Oh, uh, nice hit by Mark. That was a smart move by him, and I'll tell you why. If that ball had gone off his chair, they would have moved the ball forward. They're always trying to move the ball forward. And if it had gotten to the hole and went out of bounds, then they're playing defense from way back there, and that gives you another opportunity. Right here. Okay. Right here. There you go. So you're always trying to do the objective, move the ball further down. I'm giving you a tutorial on the next level on this hard yes, act. I hope you're, you're enjoying it. I'm learning. Yeah, we're good. Thank you. Well, you know what? We're doing. I'm not only doing it for you, but really, I, I really thank you for being able to help me with it because really, there's a lot of people watching who really don't know what they're seeing, and uh, we're trying to give them an education because power soccer is an incredible sport. And uh, we, the, the national championship ended up being two teams from Indianapolis playing, which I called the Subway Series of, uh, of Power Soccer on Division One and Division Two with two teams from Indianapolis. Now we had 50 some odd teams that play the sport. And I'll tell you what, you know, when you get down there to the, I mean, maybe it's 45 or 50 teams, when you get down to the top one team in Division One and top one division, you're pretty good out there. The Division II team is the top, like the ninth best team there is out there. I mean, that's how it works. This, this, this sport is really catching on. I'll tell you what, it's a serious as they go. Okay, there's a little bit of a... This is an opportunity for Black to seal this game, really, with a score here with about, uh, there's not much time left. And they, they could score this, and there's no way that the Green's going to score twice. This is a pretty good opportunity for Dan. Dan hasn't scored yet. That's... Here it is. A kick. He's trying to do it. Oh! Almost went in. It's still out in front. Dan again, putting on the pressure. It's out in front. Oh! Mark has a good defense. Wow. Oh, they're going to get another opportunity at this. Another opportunity at this. Again, another one. Shot. Oh, it's out in front again. It's out in front. Of him. Three blacks. Three blacks. Three blacks. Yeah. Come on. Come on, Green. Come on, Green. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Green. Okay. Finally, they're going to get a chance here, uh, Come on. the green team, to clear this out. They have to get it down the way. Come on, green. Out front. Oh, what a shot! Oh, now you see the mountain. That was the best one we've seen so far. That was, he put a lot of pop on that ball. If he had had that on goal, that would have been a tough one to stop. I have seen some shots, by the way, that were about high as uh, the, your, your arms of your chair. With some of these guys at the Division One, the ball's still out there. I mean, he really got all of it. Yeah, they did. All right, there's not much time left. We have about 54 seconds left, official time, and then there's probably maybe another minute of unofficial time, of, of the officials time, as we call it. And uh, stay with them. Come on, come on, Gary. They got to get it out of there. Did the stop oh, we got somebody. Yeah. Oh. Got to get him back in there. Uh, well, that was Jerry there who got her, had to be kind of sit back in his chair. What? Stop. So, uh, Gene, of uh, these black players on the black team, who do you uh, particularly uh, uh, want to pick for a player of the game? Is there anyone in particular that you felt like uh, Come on, if, they, if they win the game, which right now they're doing a pretty good job of it? I think I'd go with number 468. Yeah. Dan Costin, because you felt like he he made a lot of the action happen. Is yes. that it? What's the numbers? Jerry Clemens scored a goal with another person. They had a couple. And Dan didn't score, but he did keep the ball going. And you have to give him the credit, even though he didn't score. The ball goes. Stay with the ball around. 
Yeah. There you go, we said, stay, stay, stay. Stay. Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on, keep on coming. Go that way. That way, yeah, stay. Right there, right there, right there. She says, they've, they've, got they've got to get that ball cleared out of there. They've got to clear it out of there. Notice how the momentum's changed. The black has had the momentum a lot in this second Come half. On. And that has really made it tough. Here we go. Jerry again. Jerry again. Oh, nicely blocked. Come on, Green. Come on, Green. You can do it. We don't have a lot of time left here. I don't know what time we are, but we are. You see the clock and how much time yeah, we have? They're running off of uh, uh, Unofficial time. What's up? What's see, they're, up? they're letting Black have the opportunity to, to score if they can. Another goal! And who scored that? Did that, was that Dan? Oh, it was wide. It was scored. Was that Jerry scored? It's an own goal. Okay. Nobody gets it. Had the score, but don't credit it to somebody. Three one. That goal come on, come on. was not knocked in by anybody but the green team. So that nobody gets credit for that goal. But the pressure was so intense, there's nothing they could have done about that. And we really got very little time left. This game is about uh, just about to wind over, and this black team has been really on, pretty dominant in this game. And that is the end of the game. Time is over. Black with a win, 3-1. Very exciting, very exciting. Gene, what do you think of this? It's exciting. Well, Gene, I'm glad that you were here uh, representing the Paralyzed Veterans of America, which uh, co-sponsors uh, uh, this great event, this whole fantastic group of games that happen. You working with the Department of Veteran Affairs, that, that's a marriage that puts on the most incredible thing for veterans that could ever happen. People come from all over the country. They live for these days. And Great Britain. And they come and it's really exciting. And I'll tell you what. And Puerto Rico. Well, that's part of the country still. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is the 28th year and uh, next year is Spokane, Washington. Yeah, I'll tell you what, that'll be great. So, Gene, I'm really glad you came and did this with me. Thank you so much. Good luck at your presidency. Thank you. <laughs> and I, uh, I really have to say that, uh, you know, We've really been glad to be here. You're on X-Able. I'm hoping that you get to watch not only this, but watch all the other games that are going on because this is good. Okay, thanks so much.